safe to say that outdoor recreation is as much about our economy as it is about our lifestyle and opportunities in the Rocky Mountain West uh, and that draws so many people to my district and to Colorado. And it's for these reasons uh, that one of the first bills so that I introduced in Congress was the CORE Act. Uh, I've worked with Chair Grijalva and others to now pass uh, this proposal uh, through the House on numerous occasions, including most recently this year uh, as a title of uh, <laughs> Debts, Protecting America's Wilderness and Public Lands Act, very important measure. Uh, the CORE Act would designate nearly 400,000 acres throughout Colorado for a variety of primarily recreational opportunities. And it's important to remember that congressional designations are one of the best tools that we have to provide for recreation-focused management and to provide sustainable visitation, as well as increased economic activity in the gateway communities where many outdoor businesses are based. While the CORE Act is focused on Colorado's communities, there are further policy changes that we believe can help us improve public lands recreation nationally. Last Congress, I was proud to work with this subcommittee's former chair and now uh, the current Secretary of the Interior, uh, then Representative Deb Hallett, and other bipartisan members of Congress to introduce the Simplifying Outdoor Access for Recreation Act, more commonly known as the SOAR Act. This Congress, we are picking up uh, where that work left off, having reintroduced uh, that same bill, the SOAR Act, as H.R. 3670 to reflect last year's committee reported version with some small technical changes and improvements. As introduced, the SOAR Act would improve uh, public lands uh, recreation, ultimately in three major ways. First, by modernizing recreation permitting, uh, making recreation a priority, secondly, and then of course, third, maintaining recreational assets in partnership with private volunteers and nonprofit organizations, including public land cores. More simply put, the SOAR Act is about making sure outdoor recreation is growing our multi-billion dollar recreation economy while providing communities with the physical and mental benefits of time outside. And these efforts are especially important as we continue our economic recovery to build back better from this pandemic. 